it really provides like wonderful heat retention and heat distribution when you're trying to get something crisp. I feel like I just blacked out. What did I even just say about that? I don't know. Brad and I like to talk a lot about like, what are you having for dinner tonight? Or what did you make for dinner last night? Try to keep it fresh, get some inspiration. And Brad famously makes a wonderful cast iron pizza. So I'm going to show you this recipe inspired by the great pizzas that Brad makes at home. One thing I like about this recipe is it really allows you to achieve a wonderful like crisp crust on the bottom um, without needing a pizza stone or um, like an oven that goes up to like 600 degrees. What I like about it is it uses a lot of ingredients that are kind of like ready to go and that you can buy at the store. So one of those is pizza dough. So this is 12 ounces, which is the right amount of dough for a large cast iron skillet. The first thing I'm gonna do is start to stretch this. It's, when it's room temperature, it's much easier to stretch. So if you're trying to stretch it and it's springing back, just let it sit on your counter a little bit longer. And I oiled it because I don't wanna add flour. Um, it's gonna go into an already oiled skillet. So I'm stretching this to like a 10 inch round. It could be a little bit bigger than 10 inches because it will start to shrink back a bit. And I'm leaving this ring around the outside where it's a little bit thicker, so that's gonna be that edge of crust. All right, so this is going to be a fennel topped pizza. So I have Italian sausage, which is seasoned with fennel seeds, and then some fresh fennel. So right here, it's thinly sliced. This was done on a mandolin. You can just go in with a knife. So with toppings that are raw, like the fennel, thinly sliced is really ideal because you want it to be able to cook in the oven in a pretty brief period of time. Another important thing to mention, I have my oven on 475 with a rack on the very, very top. So we're gonna cook this on the top rack and take advantage of the way that the heat circulates in the oven. So the heat is gonna be radiating down from the, from the top of the oven directly onto the pizza. So we're gonna be cooking it from underneath in the cast iron and from the top at the same time. And that's gonna kind of mimic the way like an actual pizza oven works. That looks good. So I left myself a little bit of wiggle room in case the crust wants to shrink back. So just so it doesn't dry out, I'm gonna cover it with some plastic while I start to build my uh, toppings on the stove. Okay, just lightly covered. Now, here are my toppings. I have my fresh fennel, some low moisture mozzarella just from the store that was grated on the large holes of a box grater. Jarred marinara, just a, like a good quality marinara sauce. This is Rayo's brand, which I really like. Kosher salt, a little extra olive oil, and some garlic. So the main topping though is Italian sausage. It's a half a pound, which is about two links. And I'm gonna get this going in the same cast iron skillet that we're gonna use for the pizza. With a raw topping like sausage, we wanna cook it first because I wanna make sure it's fully cooked before it goes into the oven. Um, just in case it doesn't cook through all the way. And also I wanted to release the moisture now rather than on top of the pizza, which might make it soggy. This is sweet Italian sausage that was removed from the casings. You could use spicy Italian or any other kind of like uh, raw pork sausage, even merguez, something like that. This is, I developed this recipe, so these are the toppings that I like. But if you have like tried and true pizza toppings that you love, just use those at home. Um, Pepperoni is great. I don't know, what, other, what, other, what do people put on pizza, Chris? What's up? What do people put on pizza at home? Pepperoni? Cheese? I said that one. We got cheese. Brad probably puts green bell pepper. <laughs> Brad, you know what Brad loves to do? Brad loves to put a drizzle of honey at the end on yeah, the pizza. Yeah, like hot honey. It's kind of a nice idea. I mean, obviously, like, sausage is awesome. Yeah. This one is sausage and fennel. What else is, like, truly transcendent, though? Oh, I'm not above a Hawaiian pie. Oh, I'll gosh, just say Chris. it. I'm sorry. I, I can't. I, I really. Care. Not sorry. I really don't. I'm in the like, don't yuck other people's yums category, but I just can't do, a, I can't do the Hawaiian. What? It's like pineapple, good. Ham, <laughs> good. Pizza, good. Where's the problem? All right, to each his own. I hear you. Okay, so the pan is preheated. I can feel it's pretty hot. I just have a tablespoon of oil. Like there's a decent amount of fat in this recipe and we're gonna add oil to the top before and after baking. This oil is really just to get the sausage going. Oil facilitates heat transfer. One of the keys here too is that we're not going to defat the skillet after we take out the sausage because it's going to it's the fat that's in the bottom of the pan that is going to help crisp and almost like fry the bottom of the crust as it cooks. Try to break it up into smaller pieces. Okay, so I want to take the sausage out of the pan and leave the fat behind. So I'm using a slotted spoon. And the idea is that the heat in the pan is gonna to start to cook the bottom of the crust. 
you know, you kind of have to lay it down in one shot. It's a little tricky. There's a slight sizzle. I don't know if you can hear that. Get my mic down there. So first thing I'm going to do is just season the whole surface of the dough lightly. Just kosher salt. And now go in with my marinara. This is a liquidy ingredient, so you don't want to add too much. I kind of like when the sauce goes right up to the edge. Now the low moisture mozzarella. Again, like a nice even coating. And here's one thing I like to do. Maybe, maybe a little bit of cheese falls along the outside of the crust. Or the cheese hits the pan. It kind of does that like crispy, um, crunchy, like caramelized golden brown cheese thing, which is really, really nice. I can hear it sizzling. So not a ton of cheese. Again, I don't want to waterlog the dough. Now fennel. So one reason why I'm going to drizzle olive oil over this before I bake it is because I want that fennel to get a little bit of oil on it so that um, it doesn't just dry out as it roasts, it kind of cooks. The fennel shrinks a lot in the oven, so even though it looks like a lot, when you pull it out, it'll have you know much less coverage. Same thing with the garlic. I want to make sure that it gets a sprinkling of oil. So this is very, very thinly sliced garlic. It's three cloves. I'm a garlic lover, so and I like that kind of almost like half-cooked garlic flavor. Like there's still a little bit of the raw bite um, on the pizza at the end, but if you don't like as strong a garlic flavor or you just don't like garlic at all, you can leave it off. And now the sausage. So if there's any large pieces, I'm just gonna crumble them a little bit smaller. And now two tablespoons of olive oil. Really even drizzle all the way around. You can get the top of the crust, that ring around the outside. So I wanna pre-crisp the bottom of the crust before I put it in the oven. The crust went in to a hot pan, so it started to cook, and I want to just take a look at if there's any color on the bottom. It's taken on just the lightest golden color. I want to put it back on the heat to get even more browning before I put it in the oven. So I'm going to bring it back over to the stove. So I'm putting it on medium, medium, low. So what's happening here is really the cast iron is acting like a piece of stone wood or a baking steel. This is why cooking in cast iron is so great because it really provides like wonderful heat retention and heat distribution when you're trying to get something crisp. All right, I'm looking golden brown on the bottom. So it's gonna go in until the top has nice browning. You'll see like great bubbling around the crust. The toppings are cooked, so it should be like in the range of 10 to 14 minutes. Again, depending on how hot your oven is. This is really heavy, so I'm gonna use two hands. Okay, I just checked on the pizza. It's been in there about 11 minutes. It's looking done, so I'm gonna pull it out of the oven carefully, because it's hot. So it's looking great. Really nice browning all around the edge. You can hear me try to like lift the edge nice and crispy. Bottom looks beautiful. So I'm gonna bring it over here. It has to cool. It's burning hot right now. So I'm just loosening it from the bottom. Hopefully your cast iron has a nice layer of seasoning so that it's nothing sticks. But you know, the, the, the crust is well browned, so that also means it will release from the bottom. What I'm really loosening is the bits of baked on cheese. I'm going to transfer it to my cutting board to rest for a bit, and then I'm going to finish it. So you can see how crisp it is. I can lift the whole thing out. That's the beauty of cast iron. So I'm going to finish it with some red pepper flakes. We use sweet Italian sauces, so there's, not, there's no heat here. So I like some red pepper flakes. And I don't want to, these are the toppings that I don't want to bake. I don't want to burn the red pepper flakes. I have some fresh basil here. I like that fresh flavor. Then just an extra, a very light sprinkling of salt. And fresh olive oil because I like the kind of bright acidity that that adds. But just a little bit, there's you know, a fair amount of fat on here. You can see how much the fennel really shrunk as it cooked. So I think there's really nice proportions of toppings on here. Um, still, still with a nice crisp crust on the bottom. So I'm gonna cut it. This is a great dinner for four people. I think while it's baking, you know, you have about 10 or 15 minutes, you can mix up just a salad, which is all you really need. 
The crust is fully baked through, so it has a nice sort of fluffy texture on top of that crisp layer on the bottom. But I do want to point out here along the side, this nice little area where the cheese got crispy and brown. Ready? Try it? Yeah. Hmm. Really good. Appropriate amount of salt. You know, you have that nice richness from like the olive oil and the cheese, but it's not soggy. Really good balance. The pieces of sausage got nice and crispy in the oven. Mmm. I love the flavor of the fennel seed, plus the fresh fennel. You can get everything at the store on your way home, preheat the oven. Everything is prepped in the amount of time it takes for the oven to heat up. And in, you know, half an hour, 45 minutes, you have everything done. Quick salad, just give it a mix while the pizza's in the oven, and great weeknight dinner. So thanks to Brad for wonderful inspiration. Definitely worth it to invest in a cast iron skillet. They're not, in, they're not expensive, so versatile. Hope you enjoy. Wish Brad was here to try those. Yeah. Okay. Brad's in Sun. Brad's in Park City, Utah.